Hi everyone, this is James from InfoDirect Group YouTube channel. I have a new video for you. This actually is a video series. There's probably going to be three to four videos. But this one is called Rapture, the Crossroads of the Future, Part 1, Elijah Comes Before. And I'm releasing this video June 14th, 2024. Let me begin. Now, I want to start by reading Malachi chapter 4, verses 5 through 6. Behold, I will send you Elijah the prophet before the coming of the great and dreadful day of the Lord, and he shall turn the heart of the fathers to the children, and the heart of the children to their fathers, lest I come and smite the earth with a curse. Now, I do not think that it is a coincidence that the timing right now, we are just before Father's Day, this weekend coming up, okay? Let me just go to that slide real quick. Father's Day is this Sunday, June 16th, 2024. Now, if the rapture is going to happen this year, I think that this, these verses may have a hint to the timing. But again, that's conjecture. I'm, I'm just guessing. But I just think it's very interesting. And in a, the next slide, you're going to see why I feel that that could be, you know, the reasons behind it. Let, let me show you in the next slide. But before I do that, I just want to show you that Elijah, now that is the name of a prophet in the Old Testament. Okay. And that name is actually like a title. Okay, it's that the meaning behind it is my God is Yahweh. Okay, so I think that's very interesting. So let me go to this slide here. I want to show you now what I want to do now is I want to show you some research that pewresearch.org did, and this tells you the breakdown of the different religions. Now, the one I really want to show you, of course, is Christianity. Now, if you take a look at the top, we have Catholic. Now, this is not stating born-again Christians. Now, this is all the Christian denominations. Now, the, okay, I'm going to start again with Catholic. That's 46% men, and you see that 54% are women. And this trend continues. Evangelical Protestant. 45% men, 55% women. Okay, now historically black Protestant, again, 41% men, 59% women. Now, I don't know if you would consider Jehovah's Witness as a Christian denomination, but you see 35% are men, 65% are women. And I'm going to include Jewish here, 52% are men. And 48% are women, okay? Now, in this particular case, men have the majority, okay? And then mainline Protestant, 45% men. And again, the majority is women at 55%. Now, I wanted to show you the other religions. Buddhists, you're going to notice that most other religions, men are the predominant, okay? Okay. You got 51% and 49%. Hindus, 62% and 38%. And again, I mentioned Jewish. There's a little bit higher percentage of Jewish men over women at 52%. So what we see in Christianity, that there are more active women, according to this research, than men. Okay. Now, when I go to different churches, I can also attest to that. Or witness that I definitely see more women than men in the churches that I've been to okay so let me go back to this slide here now could the Lord be giving us a hint that when he comes back the lack of faith and the fathers okay they represent in the family as a head of the family, like of Christ. And the women are like Israel, okay? And it is so important that men, you know, raise their children up, 
in the faith. But as you can see by the research, that that is not the case. So is this why Elijah the prophet's going to come and he's going to help turn the heart of the fathers to the children and the heart of the children to their fathers? Now, I understand that a lot of men, you know, they're they're kind of twisted and and pulled in many directions. You know, they got to make a living and and just so many things. You know, that's what Satan has done such a good job is making everybody have no time. Okay, it's just they're always in a rush. They're always doing something. They're always preoccupied. They're all, they they don't have any focus, and and unfortunately, in their family, you know, they don't prioritize God. They don't put God first, and um, you know, distractions are everywhere. Your mobile phone, your TVs, you know, just everything is is takes our interest, our attention. So, you know, I just I just wanted to bring this to your attention. Um, you know, a lot of people that are watching my channel, they they probably are active in the church and and uh, put God in first. I, I would assume. So, but I, I just wanted to put this in your hand, you know, see, you know, when, when our Lord comes, Lord Jesus Christ, Yeshua, when he comes, that you know, will he find faith? You know, that's a good question. And, I, and if this research is indicating anything, you know, it, it, it's kind of a, a snapshot of, of, you know, the state of Christianity right now, like Laodicea talked about in Revelation. Now, I want to keep this video really short. Now, I'm going to go to the next slide. Now, I want to show you these screenshots very briefly because in my next video, I'm going to really go through this with you. Now, I just want to show you there are patterns, okay? Back when I received the Matrix, back May 25th, 2021, okay, and also in 2023 and now in 2024, I found some amazing, absolutely incredible patterns I'm going to share with you. And it mentions in the Bible that we're going to see signs in the sun, the moon, and the stars. So, you know, I'm just paraphrasing. Take a look in the Bible. But what I'm going to show you next time i think you're going to be amazed okay but let me show you this before i go this 9 11 pattern now right here okay june 16th 2024 so in a few days this weekend coming it's father's day and it's very interesting how this all lines up and also if you take a look at the 21st and the 22nd as a summer solstice, and from May 25th, 2021, to the 21st, or 22nd, depending on you look at it, okay, is 1,123 days, and that is right at the beginning of God's fingerprint, also known as the Fibonacci Golden Sequence. But it is God's fingerprint. He just allowed Fibonacci to discover it. Okay. Now, again, I'm going to go into more detail in the next video about these different patterns that I've found. And I really believe that you're going to be amazed. So let me go to the next slide. Now, the next video I'm going to release is Rapture, the Crossroads of the Future, Part 2, 911. And I'm going to release this on or before June 22nd, 2024. So thank you so much for watching. God bless you. I love you all.